Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. This is gonna be a weekend vlog, and as you can see, I am not home. I'm actually in Texas for a while, and um, I'll explain a little bit more of that later, but I am determined to have a good weekend. <laughs> kind of focus on happier, lighter things, and I'm really excited to take you along with me. Today, I actually have a plan to style my mom. I got her some new pieces, and I think that we should have a little lookbook with her together. And I'm gonna be going to Pearl Brewery to see one of my good friends. This weekend, I'm also going to Austin. We might also go to uh, Botanical Gardens. Lots of things. It's gonna be good. I'm so glad you're here. Like I said, I'll explain more, but let's go style my mom first because I think that will be really fun and she's waiting downstairs. She's looking forward to it. Welcome to my room at this house. Please pardon the mirrors. <laughs> we just got new mirrors that we're gonna hang on this wall here because this room doesn't have mirrors and so that's gonna be really nice to have. But what we're doing is my mom knows I love Everlane. And because of that, she's really fallen in love with Everlane. And I am partnering with Everlane on this video um, to show you some of their new fall wintery pieces. But I thought instead of for me, what if I were to get some things for my mom and style her? It's just way more fun that way. And so I'm gonna show you quickly some of the things that I got her and then she's gonna come in here and we're gonna kind of pair them together and make some outfits. And they're really cute. So I'm excited to show you. So first, this knit. I love this. It has almost like a half button down top. It's a knit Henley in a gorgeous charcoal gray color. And then we also got something kind of similar, but it is an actual cardigan. So the buttons go all the way down. It's slightly cropped and it's in the color snow. And this is so soft. This is like a blanket. Oh, it's gonna be perfect for when it cools down a little. And then this is called the prep shirt which I think is so stinking cute. It's a colored button down shirt with slight balloon sleeves. And I think this is gonna be really cute with some, you know, more relaxed light wash jeans, maybe half tucked. Speaking of the jeans, of course, the 90s cheeky jean. I love this wash. This wash color is called the Vintage Mid Blue. It's such a perfect blue denim that isn't too bright, but still, has some really gorgeous hues in it and it looks a little worn and relaxed. My mom keeps saying that she wants some more tight fitted shirts because I've got her some looser bottoms and um, a lot of her shirts are more loosely fitted and it, it doesn't look as good to pair a looser fitted shirt with like very loose bottoms. So I got her this in two colors. Look at the detail on this. Do you see the pattern? It's like tiny little eyelet holes. It's called the Organic Cotton Pointel shirt, and so I got it in this gorgeous dusty light blue, and then a tan color. So I feel like there's something a little bit more of a warm hue and something a little bit more of a cool hue. So she has both her bases covered there. I love the knit of this sweater. Look at the crisscross design within the knit. Oh, and it's this gorgeous sea foam green. So she has a regular sweater, she has a half button down, and then she has a sweater cardigan. I feel like all the bases are covered there for winter and fall, almost creating her little capsule wardrobe of sorts. And these are a wild card for her, but I I'm really excited to see them on her because we have some corduroy pants. This would be so sick and cute with one of the tees I just showed you. So I'm gonna style that um, together on her. We can see how it looks. These are so fun. And then I brought one of my favorite shoes from Everlane to like make these outfits for her. Um, these are the glove boot and I have some from last year and I just got the black this year because I wore my gray and my tan every single day, still have them, wear them all the time. So it's like, it's good to have a black. Look at how cute they are. And they're so comfortable because it feels like you're wearing socks. So I'm gonna go get mom and we will create a little lookbook together. Can't wait to see these things on her. Okay, we got Mama here. Hello. And she's in her first outfit. I'm gonna get some like B-roll shots so you can see the first, the full outfit all the way together. But you're in your 90s jeans and then this knit Henley and the glove boots. I might even cuff your jeans with these boots so that you can see more of the skinny tapered the ankle. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. skinny ankles on boots are so in right now. Okay. Do you feel cute? I feel so cute. You look so cute. Mm, this is like this first sick. outfit. Yeah, it is. I'm excited to see you. You're comfortable too. Oh good. Yeah. I'm excited to see you in all the knits because knits are my favorite. Oh good. Yay. Yay. 
Okay, so now we have the polo. Yeah. And I got a shot of this, like the balloon sleeves so you can see them. I would style them rolled. And typically, I like to French tuck things, but I really like the like straight, blunt line of the front of this. Mm -hmm. So, how do you feel? Cute. I feel cute. Yeah? I think you look really <laughs> cute. Okay. Oh, Yay. Sick. One more cardigan, and then I want to try on the corduroy pants with the tight t-shirt. Huh? Wait, which, which do you want to try on with these jeans? Do you want to try on the cardigan with the buttons all the way down the front? Or do you want to try Absolutely. on this like crisscrossy? I think maybe the crisscrossy. Crisscrossy? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I, we were just saying, this is so far the cutest one on you, I think. I love the chunky neckline and then the chunky knit at the bottom. And I love how it's a little cropped, yeah. but not cropped. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have anything in this color. I don't. No, it's almost like a it's spring color on a winter knit. Oh, yeah. It yeah. is. Yeah. Pistachio? Pistachio. They call it a sea green. Sea green. But I like that pistachio is. too. <laughs> we were just freaking out over these pants on Mama. And I was like, I need to be recording this reaction because they fit you. Perfectly. I know. I can't believe it. And is this what you're looking for? Should have squeal. I know. <laughs> you're like, oh my gosh. And like, see, these are very loose fitted pants. So to pair it with something fitted on top, yeah. it's perfectly proportional. And I was exactly. telling mom this would be so cute with some like layered gold necklaces right here, like some coin necklaces. Oh yeah. Oh, so cute. So cute. I can't get over how these pants fit you. They're the perfect length. They fit you perfectly. Oh, this is my favorite outfit. I know. This is my favorite outfit. Yeah. Okay, let's get some what you picked. Oh. So cute. So cute. So cute. <laughs> okay, we're in our final outfit. I was just about to say, and I was like, I'll save my commentary. I love how the knit changes halfway through. It, the knit is horizontal, the top half, and then it changes to a vertical knit, the bottom half. Oh, I love that. Little details. And I think I it that. is so cute paired open with a colored shirt underneath because you could see the little bit of the color because it's a very loose knit. Yeah. So you can see the color popping through yeah. the knit. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a way to take okay. your warm outfit if it gets chilly toss that on top of it it's perfect yeah it's I love versatile because it. yes. texas changes 40 degrees in one day it does <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're it. a little new capsule wardrobe it's so cute no you're thanks so for letting cute. me participate yeah i loved it isn't my mom cute comment down below oh, if you think my mom is the cutest mom in the whole wide world no your mom is the cutest. Whoever your mom is is the cutest mom in the whole world. <laughs> I'm sure you just complimented a lot of moms. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to head on over to Pearl Brewery, which if you're not familiar with San Antonio, it's um, an area in downtown on the Riverwalk, one of my favorite areas ever. So many good restaurants. One of my favorite hotels, Hotel Emma, stayed there on our wedding night. Um, it's just a really cute area. And they have a new restaurant that has so many things gluten-free. There's like gluten-free Thai fusion hush puppies and fried popcorn chicken with like a chili basil something. I don't know, it sounds really good. Um, and I'm meeting my friend Anna there. I don't know if I mentioned that, but Anna's my friend from California that now lives in this area, driving my dad's car. I hate driving other people's cars. It makes me so anxious because I don't want to wreck someone else's property that's worth thousands of dollars. In fact, I almost drove home all the way to Texas just to have my car, but my parents were like, no, just borrow one of ours. But I kind of want to explain what's going to be happening. I booked a one-way ticket to Texas so I really don't know if I'm gonna be here a week or a month, I really don't know. But um, as I've kind of alluded to, there's just a lot of really hard, heavy things going on in my life right now with loved ones. And um, I'm home to kind of be here um, with family and figure out things. And I don't know how long I'll be here. Um, honestly, some days I've been completely okay. Some days I've been really not okay. Um, one thing I did do is reach out to a lot of sponsors that I had in the books. I've talked about this in the past. I haven't accepted any sponsors in a while because I have previously mentioned that I've overcommitted and um, holiday season's just the busiest season in this, in this job. Um, it's, it's the busiest Q4, but just because I don't know how I will be, I wanted to make sure I'm not forced to film because filming when you're not feeling good is really hard. So some, sponsors agreed to let me push some video dates back so um the next couple weeks i don't know how much i'll be filming i really don't know what anything looks like at the moment and i'm such a planner so it's hard for me to know how to plan when i don't know what things look like i will probably be able to share more down the line but just right now as i've said in the past out of respect for people in my life i don't want to 
overshare um, with the internet. So that's why I'm home. That's why I'm here. Like I said, don't know how many videos I'll be making. Don't know how long I'll be here. Don't know a lot, but I do know we're going to have a good day. And it's raining. Shoot. Now I have to drive someone else's car in the rain. I'm going to map and let's go. Let's go to the Pearl. <laughs> I just want to just say before it gets too dark that that place was amazing and adorable and the house that it is in was built in 1906 which is the same year that my house was built in isn't that crazy honestly the popcorn chicken wasn't great but the hush puppies and the fried shiitake mushrooms were so good and i am stopping at target because as always there's always lots of little things that you forget, you know, when you're, when you're staying somewhere for a while. And I need to get new toothpaste, new deodorant. I'm, I forgot my allergy meds. I didn't want to bring a huge shampoo and conditioner, so I'm just going to buy one here. All the little things to be set up for a while here. That's the plan. Good morning. It is Saturday. I slept over 11 hours last night and I'm feeling much better today. I don't know why sleep makes everything better. And we're about to go take the dog on a walk. It might be too windy, but I wanted to share, I know in a recent vlog, I talked about that I was reading the book, Love People, Use Things by the Minimalists. And it was probably one of the most impactful books I've ever read. Not just about like the stuff aspect of it, but they get into relationships and they get into finances and they get into so many different aspects of what they believe and I really loved it. And then in the, like the afterward, they were mentioning how they didn't think any book would ever top this one that they wrote. And I immediately ordered it and it just got delivered late last night here. So I'm excited to read it called Everything That Remains. And I think today we're gonna go into San Antonio again and do the gardens. And my dad is now reading the other book. And he's like, maybe I'll take that to the gardens and read. And I was like, maybe I'll take this to the gardens and read. So that's fun. And also something funny is recently bought myself these, the like Bala bands, actually from the All True Members add-on market, I think is what they call it, because they were on sale and I've always wanted them. And then I just got a PR package from a protein company, like protein brand that had some in it as well. So I brought them home so that I have a pair and my mom has a pair and we're going to go on a walk and wear them. But a cold front came through. I don't know if you care. <laughs> it was like 90 degrees the last two days and it's currently in the 50s. So a cold front came through last night. I don't do good exercising in the cold. So we'll see how long I last, but I'm gonna get dressed. And that's our plan for the morning. I am getting dressed and I just realized that this is like matches <laughs> this top so perfectly. It's almost like I coordinated that. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Heck yeah. My mom just asked me what I was wearing, which is an olive green collared shirt and jeans and white tennis shoes. And then she comes out in an olive green colored shirt and jeans and white tennis shoes. One of us has to change. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! Go change! Hang on. What are you wearing tomorrow? <laughs> 
I wanted to show y'all an update on my parents' yard because if you saw my last Texas vlog, it was the first time that I had seen their new pool and they just finished the landscaping. But I wanted to say I'm 60 pages into this book so far and a lot of it is the same. Like sometimes even like full paragraphs are the same as the other one. I don't know if it's just the introduction, but I'm hoping that there's more knowledge and wisdom throughout it because they seem like very knowledgeable and wise people. So I'm a little bit disappointed so far how much is repeated, but still, still a good book and still good to hear things multiple times and I will flip you around and show you all the changes to the yard here it is really nice here it's really nice here so in case you missed the Texas vlog from I don't know a month or two ago here is the pool and then everything else around it was pretty much dirt so we'll start this way the fire pit all of this is new they've added these steps um, my dad's company actually did this that goes all the way around to the garage and back here they've hidden all of their pool equipment behind this wall and these guys will trail up really tall and then here is this little side yard which I think is so cute I was joking that it looks like a little putting green and my dad was like actually I was kind of considering making it one and then my mom's garden back here we considered doing some gardening because she hasn't started these yet and I thought that could be fun to do with y'all on the vlog. And the grass cuts around to the other side of the pool, but I'll take you back up this way. If you go over here, there's a little succulent garden in this tall plant that my mom's in love with. I don't remember what it's called, but it's literally like taller than the first story of this house. And they have all these cute little succulents. Look at how cute this little cactus is. And then this cuts down this little like walk slope of grass. <laughs> There's roses, and then they added these big pieces of limestone around the perimeter of the grass. So it's almost like the yard has a negative edge also, which I think is pretty cool. And this feels a lot bigger with grass in it for some reason. I don't know what about the eye does that, but there's the view. That's the yard. Hard in the direct sunlight, but we just got to, I almost said Huntington Gardens, San Antonio Gardens, and it looks exactly like Huntington Gardens from the parking lot. And there might even be a chance that my membership is valid here, which would be really cool. Also, Dad, I just realized that you haven't been in this whole vlog, and I've been vlogging for two days, and I'm oh. sure everybody, everybody loves you. Oh, so. well, it's crazy. How's your book? It's very good. I'm really enjoying it. What's the number one piece of advice you've gotten for the first 60 pages? Just get rid of all the crap that you have laying around. Yes. Emotionally too. Yes. <laughs> Cue a montage of the gardens in three, two, one. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. Sunday. Yesterday, the restaurant inside of the San Antonio Botanical Gardens was so good. Um, and I'm such a soup person, and I know that's weird, but I had the best soup of my life. It was just their daily soup, so I'm sure it's not there all the time. But it had a fennel sausage, and it had polenta dumplings, and squash, and parmesan, and it was gluten-free. It was so good. And I am just now getting to Austin today to pick up my sister Jacqueline from her fiance's house and we're gonna go have brunch together and just be able to spend a little bit of time together. So I wanted to say hi, good morning before I pick her up, but it should be a good day. It's been a good weekend. It was my goal to have a good weekend and I feel like we've been accomplishing it. So that's good. That's so you know, good. Jacqueline. Hello. And I was telling Mark that a lot of people <laughs> were commenting about him last time so that he should say hi. 
I'm back. Baby. Back and better than ever. Oh yeah. And Jacqueline just told me I should open whatever this is on the vlog, so yeah. here. Here you go, Mark. Um, oh, do I open it like, or towards me? I don't know. There's so many instructions. <laughs> oh, that oh, was completely the wrong way. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> smart sweets. What? These are my favorite. <gasps> what is this? It's a candle. Wait, can you open it? That's true. Yes! I, I do have to Google it to make sure. Am I going to give a speech at your wedding or your rehearsal dinner? Am I going to get to embarrass you in front of 40 people or 400 people? I think it'll probably be wedding because I don't think we're going to have a super formal rehearsal dinner. Are you ready, Mark? Oh, yeah. yeah. How do I so turn excited. this thing off? Uh, the red button right here. There you go. Can we? Now it is. Oh, okay. Um. Hey, Jacqueline. Hey, Mikael. How's wedding planning? It's good. Hey, Jacqueline. <laughs> how you feeling about your new job starting next year? A little nervous. Hey, Jacqueline. Shoot, I'm out of questions. <laughs> hey, Mikael. What? <laughs> what <laughs> is your biggest regret? Oh. <laughs> hey. I don't think I should see that on the internet. <laughs> hey, Mikael. Yeah. If you had to pick between putting that scary witch thing in your house. Be real shot now. <laughs> yeah. Having to not put that scary witch thing in your house. Not. You and now this has been an interview with Jacqueline. Oh, Mark's, Mark's Okay, calling. that's a good, that's a good end note. <laughs> I am now getting coffee with one more friend before driving back and I just want to make sure before it gets dark that I say I love you and thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of this vlog and for helping me have a really happy weekend. And thanks again to Everlane for sponsoring this video and helping me style my mom. I literally always <laughs> wear Everlane. <laughs> but I just want to say I love you. Thank you for being here. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here, I wanna go all